Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So lots of requests to have a video about how to essentially maintain our DCS. DCS is a very complicated application. It can be like 250 gigabytes big if you've got all of the planes and all the maps and stuff like that. And um, it needs uh, it needs maintenance like any complicated application. It needs cleaning, needs repairing, it needs updating. Uh, so the best way we find to do this is you use a GUI uh, known uh, as, uh, as uh, what's it called, Sly? Um, it's just called the DCS Updater GUI, and it's made by Skate, who's one of the moderators on the uh, and an ED test team member on the ED forums. Hey, firm. So I'm yes, freeware. Thank you very much for making this. Uh, so I'm going to just show downloading it and setting it up because everyone's going to do that. So DCS. GUI skate I'm typing in Google and no you shouldn't use Google it is an evil company but I'm short of time right so it's come up with it um, that's that is it I'm just looking for the download page oh my god uh, currently download yep so I'm clicking on that button there I'm gonna go save as I'm gonna go to my D drive and save it as uh, yep whatever it wants to call it save I believe that's finished. Let's just minimize that. Let's go to D drive. Let me get rid of that. Um, I'm going to go find it. There it is. It's in that file there. I'm going to now copy it and paste it out here. Yes, I want to replace the old one. And there we have our file. It's called DCS Updater Utility. I put up my D drive. You can put it somewhere else. So I'm going to now double click on it. Just make sure you don't put it in the actual game directory itself. You want it outside of the game a, directory. A firm to that. Right. Windows Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. More info. Run anyway. And up she goes. Kapow. Here we have it. Here we have Skate DCS GUI. And here's where we, how we manage our GC. Uh, manage our DCS right so slide the first thing we have to do is set it up so you have several builds so it's very common for people to have various versions or builds of DCS on their computer you might have a release version you might have an open beta version you might have an open alpha version I've got run two versions I know people that run four or five versions so you've got to tell this GUI you've got to set it up tell it what build you are running and where they are located so I want to set build one up slide how do I do it yeah, so we want to click in the top right hand corner of the big settings button okay. and then we'll see in the main uh, part of the um, GUI we've got uh, folder paths and uh, build configuration with a number of slots. First thing you want to do is move to the middle row where it says DCS folder path mm -hmm. and then click browse. Mm -hmm. Navigate to your DCS world installation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is the game directory, mm -hmm. and then you just click on that folder, click OK, and it will pop the path in there. Roger, do I want to do save games folder as well? So, yep, the next one across, uh, next column across is the save game. So uh, you want to do the save games folder for that version of DCS that you've just used. Stand by. So it is that one there. And then lastly, you want to move back to custom name and just pop in a custom name so you know which build that is. Okay. Um, the release is the same thing as open beta at the moment. I lose track of things. Uh, I've lost track of things as well. I don't think so. I think the release is still on the first uh, 2.5 version, but I'm not 100%. Okay. I think they're different. I'm running open beta, so, uh, so that's fine. Um, is there any way to, is there anything to apply or anything? Verify, is that what I click on now? So, at the, yeah, at the bottom, just click the verify button and you should see status on the right hand side, the green. It's done it, it's done it. Beautiful, installed version. Right, it's accepted it. Uh, right, now is there a kind of main page now where I can um, look at my aircraft? So just one more thing before we come off the uh, settings page. I don't know if this is available on other pages. You should see just at the top, there's a little bar that says DCS, icon, uh, DCS status idle, time elapsed, mm -hmm. uh, internet connection. If you click on the where it says internet connection status connect, uh, sorry, DCS update service, mm -hmm. and you should probably got offline. If you click online mm -hmm. and just do a refresh on there, it'll just reach out to all the servers and make sure they're there that's interesting so here are some update servers and you've got Gerb look at all the German ones wow Germany United States and one in Switzerland or wherever that is how interesting 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. And now you should see that internet connection status is connected. Hey, Fern. Cool. Uh, so once we've done that, we can go and do an update. So actually, sorry, not do an update. Um, so if we look in the top left hand corner, we've got launch, we've got VR on. Underneath that, we've got select a build to manage. Mm -hmm. We drop that down. We should see a list of the names that we just created. Hey, Fern. And we can pick open beta, and we can. We don't want, need to worry about the um, the presets. We can just leave that on default, mm -hmm. and we can just go ahead and click our update button. So this is how we would update it through the GUI, bosh, like that. And that would that would do the same thing as running a command line force update, isn't it? So that will update it if there's something to update. Okay. It's exactly the same. It's basic, That button is basically doing exactly the same as what you did do manually. Okay, so that's that. And next to it, there's repair then. Um, so what would repair do? So repair would do exactly the same thing. So we uh, instead of going to command line and then typing in uh, dcsupdater.exe uh, space repair, that base that button's basically doing the same thing. Repair uh, will basically verify all your files. Uh, it will check for missing files and then it will download those missing files. Hey, firm, and and this is something that you will need a fair amount, especially if you mess around with modifications and stuff like that. It's always possible if, if for instance uh, you were in running DCS and you had a crash you know could happen you lost your power or whatever um, it can corrupt files can't it that's how th things you know things can get files can get dis destroyed or, or corrupted so the way to f and then next time you go and run that scenario or that map or something you'll find that it doesn't work properly happened loads of times so the way to fix it is to come in here do your repair and then that will sort that out for you. So repairing almost always sorts your problems out with DCS, I find. Yeah, definitely. Um, and sometimes it's a good idea to run a repair um, just after you've actually done an update. Uh, sometimes the update might, you know, you might get interrupted. You might, uh, it might not uh, put the right mm -hmm. things in the right places. Um, so it's always best to just run a repair after you've done an update as well. Roger that. And then there's clean. So what would clean do and what's different to repair? So what Clean does is it basically checks and uh, does a, a, a verify of your uh, DCS installation. So if you're playing with skins or if you're playing with mods, um, it's not so much of an issue now, but it used to be the way DCS was, um, the way DCS used its folder structures. Um, so you, if you wanted mods, you'd have to overwrite um, game, uh, files in the core game directory with your modded version. What Clean does is it makes sure that all the files in the in the game directory are actually the game directory files and they're not modified in any way. So Clean will check, do a verify, re-download um, your files, just just like Repair does. Uh, but it's it will also remove or highlight files that are in your game directory that shouldn't be there. Wicked. So. It's handy if you're using mods and you accidentally forget and put a mod in your mm -hmm. game directory, uh, then clean will highlight which one's there. Roger that. Yep, it's definitely something that should be used. Okay. And then just quickly, out of interest, uh, this isn't really to do with this video, but module categories, you can actually manage your modules from here. I'm just going to be careful I don't show any of my codes or anything, but we can go uh, hit show our, our aircraft, and these are the aircraft I believe that I've got. And you can do, no, sorry, the ones with the green. You see the green by them those are the ones that i've got the ones with the red i think are the ones that i haven't got or haven't got installed you can have a play around with that but what i'm tr just trying to say is that you can manage your terrains and uh, and files from here have you got anything to add to that sly uh no exactly what it is um you could just click the uh, check all button and you'll see that uh, it, uh sorry check all button i thought that was actually going to do a check to mm. like a verify check but it just highlights them all it's exactly what you said so green ones are ones you've got installed red ones are ones you don't have installed uh you can should be able to uh check them and install them individually somewhere but i'm not 100 percent on that yeah, i've had uh, problems in the past where i couldn't inst i bought a module and I couldn't install it through the normal dcs application for some reason and uh, whatever reason i can't remember what the reason was but um, i did manage to get around it by using this gui gui clicking on the tick and going into more information and installing it through that so yep that can be handy here oh sorry yeah i've just seen the buttons so they're the little gray buttons uh just underneath the big blue buttons you've got scan rescan for installed modules uh install selected modules uninstall selected modules and show hide advanced okay, firm. cool 
Right, so I think that'll do for that. So install this, use it. It'll help your DCS experience very much. Um, yep, hope that helps, and we'll see you later.